Jay King, Self Made Millionaire, coming to you from MillionairePennyStocks.com. And today I'd like to speak to you briefly about the beginning of trading. The beginning of trading is something that I believe that's really important because the beginning of trading deals with you laying the right foundation and the right psychology in the beginning so you don't develop so many bad habits that lead into catastrophic failure. Now you see over here, you see the four categories that we base our foundation on, our core foundation and our core psychology, which is price action, momentum, volatility, and value. I want you to do your own keyword research today on these particular words. You can Google these words. And the reason why I'm not going to go intricately into these subjects is because I want to deal more with your psychology today, with your mindset. Um, as a coach, as a trainer in the stock market, as a master trader, I find that I have to spend more time dealing with people's mindsets and their psychology and training them to think the right way than I do intricate details of the stock market. Remember now, when we get over to the intricate details of the stock market, that's because you've now developed the right psychology and the right foundation in your brain, in your mind. Remember, you have to think a certain way in order to become successful in any system. If you're going to become a medical doctor, there's a certain psychology you have to master. If you're going to become an engineer, there's a certain psychology that you have to master. But in the stock market, you can't just come and stick twenty or $30,000 in the market without developing the right strategy, the right discipline, the right psychology. Now, remember, this is the foundation that we have laid. This is our structure. These are the four categories that we major on price action, momentum, volatility, and value. One thing that I want you to do is I want you to go to investopedia.com and I want you to see here at investopedia.com, the first thing that I want you to do is learn to paper trade. Before you use real money, this is what we're talking about, developing the foundation, developing the right psychology. Before you use real money, I want you to use fake money. And the reason why is this allows you to get educated first. This allows you to develop the discipline first before you start using real money. And click on Stock Simulator when you go to investopedia.com. And then at investopedia.com, you can register. And once you register, you will have a risk-free $100,000 virtual cash account. In this particular uh, uh, account, this will allow you to paper trade. And you will have to manually control all of your paper trades. But you can either paper trade through investopedia.com or you can just write your trades down on a piece of paper or make a mental note. That's all paper trading is, is when you write it down on paper, you either make a mental note of your trades or you have some type of stock simulator that assists you in keeping up with your trades. So again, we're talking today about the beginning of trading. What I've shared with you today is number one, don't start off using real money. Remember, money doesn't have the power to reproduce itself. Money is a it. Money does not have a mind. It doesn't have a brain. It doesn't have an imagination. But money only responds to the consciousness of the person behind it. In other words, money needs an owner. Remember now, money needs an owner. So you want to make money your slave. Don't let you become a slave to money. So many people let the monetary system rob them from their ability to be creative. You are more valuable than money. Remember that your mind, your imagination, your intelligence, your psychology, your belief system, your consciousness, the relationships that you develop is what's going to attract the money. Do you realize that people that win the lottery after you research them a year or two later, they end up being broke? Can you imagine that winning 50 million or 100 million and you end up being broke after one year? And the reason why is they let their ignorance and their luck take them where their psychology and their education couldn't keep them. Because luck has no substance. Ignorance has no substance. But when you start developing substance within your soul and with your mind, you begin to attract success. And I love talking about the mind. I love talking about psychology. As a coach, I spend more time motivating and training people to develop the right psychology than I do talking about intricate details of the stock market. The intricate details of the stock market come after we talk about the beginning of trading, developing the right core psychology so you can become successful. I've dealt with several athletes before. A lot of athletes possess talent and charisma. What happens is at the end of their career, they find that their talent and their charisma takes them where their psychology and their education can't keep them. So they have to now learn the psychology and the education to maintain success. They find out that, you know, now I have to have dentures. I can't turn cartwheels anymore. And my talent and my charisma is not what I'm going to maintain success. 
So you know what? How do you maintain success? You maintain success. The best way for you to transform your life is for you to develop the right psychology and the right education as it relates to whatever subject you want to speak on or whatever subject you want to attack. If you want to attack the stock market, if you want to become successful in real estate, if you want to become a medical doctor, if you want to become an engineer, every subject that you discuss has a certain system. It has a certain psychology that you have to master. So remember this, the beginning of trading, it deals with learning the right course strategy and foundation. Remember, when you develop the right psychology, you will attract success. Jim Rome says success is not something that should be pursued, but is it's attracted by the person that we become. Again, this is Jay King. I'm at millionairepennystocks.com. And remember the beginning of trading. If you haven't learned anything today, study price action, momentum, volatility, and value, and also start off paper trading in the beginning of your experience of trading. Have a great day.